What's up guys, it's me Vince and I have I have here Pokemon Black. I own Pokemon White, but this is a emulator. I mean a ROM played on an emulator. And as you can tell by the title, by, ugh, my pronunciation is terrible by the title. This is a Nuzlocke Challenge playthrough. For those of you who don't know what that is, a Nuzlocke Challenge is basically a way to play a Pokemon game, but give yourself a challenge. So there are two fundamental rules and a third sort of tradition people do. Not really a rule, but people just do it. The first rule is that any Pokemon that faints in battle is considered dead and cannot be used against. Or, you know, so let's say your starter dies in a gym battle, you have to release it. Or what I've seen some people do is that they actually place it in a PC uh, box and just permanently store it there so they can't use it again. You can't even bring it into your party, it's just dead. Um, the second uh, rule is that the first Pokemon you encounter in a region is the only Pokemon you can actually catch in that region. So let's say I don't remember the uh, routes and cities and Pokemon for 5th gen. F like after 4th gen, fourth gen, I kind of just like went downhill in Pokemon. I haven't been playing it as much. I haven't been really getting into it as much. I still like it. It's just that I haven't been getting into it as much as I did in the past. But the second rule is that uh, let's say... This is, I don't know the exact route names and Pokemon names. Let's say you're in Route 1 and you encounter a uh, flying type Pokemon. So, and let's say you catch it. So, that's the only Pokemon, that's the only Pokemon you can catch in that uh, route ever in the game. And should that Pokemon faint or flee or whatever, you can't, there's no, there's no second chance. So, if you kill a Pokemon or make a Pokemon faint in region Route 1, you can't catch another Pokemon in that route. So, give yourself the challenge and you can have to make sure that none of your Pokemon faint. Um, there are optional rules other people choose to follow. Just but for this one, oh, I forgot the thir forgot the thir uh bleh, forgot the third rule, which is uh um you will have to nickname all your Pokemon just so you gain a stronger bond with them. So should they faint, you feel guilty, I guess, and remorseful. But I'm not gonna bother talking on too much because it's already two minutes into it. So let's get into the game. It's midnight. I'm doing homework, but it's boring. Tomorrow's a day off. I have to study. So thought it'd be a nice way to goof off. New game. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me. Ugh. Ugh. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is a Pokemon. Yay. I don't, even, I don't even remember what the name is. It's bad of me. Um, that's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures. That's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures. Call Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans have lived happily with Pokemon, living and working together, we complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular, so we're committing animal abuse and it's... There's a general consensus that it's awesome. Wonderful. <laughs> and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon, and that is why I research, po research Pokemon. That'd be great, just researching Pokemon. Well, that's enough from me. Could you tell me about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? I am a boy. Or at least I hope I am. You are a boy, right? Yes, I am. And I like to know your name. Sure. My name is... Vince. Most people just call me Vince in general, not my full name, which is Vincent, so I don't mind. Your name is Vince. Yeah, yes. So your name is Lynn Squad, so wonderful name. Well, thank you. Well, then I'll be... Oh, if you notice a change in commentary, uh, I've been lately, instead of going for a more childish, I guess, approach, you could say, I might try to talk, talk a little bit more mature. I don't know. I might work better. I might help demonstrate who I am more than just acting like a child and being stupid. Um, well, then I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. This young man is Sharon. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. And that is me. Okay, Vince. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I don't read. It's just because I'm terrible at speaking, I guess. And uh, during your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and diff pe ugh, people with different 
personalities and points of view. I actually might use this as a way to improve my vocabulary and speaking in general. So, this might work out for me and you guys because you get to see me play with Pokemon and see how well I play. Uh, I really hope you find what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right, befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Wonderful, but it's been already five minutes and it's summer. Great way. Hopefully I'm not sweating too much. Um, I'm debating whether to well, watch the cutscene or not. Uh, can I skip it? Oh, no, I can't. Oh well. I'll let you. I'll be quiet and let you guys watch it. That was quick. Alright, for Professor Juniper, we can have a Pokemon? Yes. What's keeping Bianca? Are they all in my house or something? Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca. I've known f I've known for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but seriously. Today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's, I like this music. It's, uh, upbeat. I know, sorry, Vin. Sorry, Sharon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Vince's house, so Vince gets perf- Vince gets per- Vince gets first pick. There you go. I wonder why in my house. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Vince, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Do I have to control myself? Yeah, sort of thought. Hmm. I brought three Pokemon, one for you and each of your friends, and one for each of your friends. Please settle that. Please settle your choices. <laughs> Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Juniper. How nice of her. Um, which one? I never played it with Snivy, but it's not the best of Pokemon unless you have the Dream Roll ability, where I forgot what it's called, but any stat decrease turns into a stat decrease. So I think it's just uh. uh Changes them to opposite. So if I were to use Leaf Storm, I actually get a two stage boost and special attack. Um, I played as both Oshawott and Tepig. I'm tempted to use Oshawa because I don't know what kind of water Pokemon I'll get during my travels, and I might want to use Oshawa just because it's the better choice and it's well rounded. At the same time, I like Tepig because it's a pretty good of a powerhouse, plus it's part fighting. I don't know why they've been keeping that trend for the last third gen, you know, third gen Torchic into Blaziken, fourth gen Chimchar into Infernum, and this one it's uh, Tepic to Ambor, I believe it's called. I think we'll go with Tepic. Yes. And I should be able to nickname it. For this series, I might make the episodes a little bit longer just because the game is longer in general. Um. Sure, why not, Bianca? I don't know when I'll be naming my Pokemon. I honestly don't know. I hope soon. Sorry about that, it's my mother coming in, because it's midnight and she just came back, so let's not be too loud. So let's fight and obviously let's use tackle. Uh eek, ouch, I won't let you get away with that, whatever. Let's use a tail whip, just oh great, same idea. It will be just terrifying if it gets a credit on me. <laughs> no I'm concerned. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh, why am I saying Jesus and God? I'm pretty sure people don't like that, and I'm atheist, so it's kind of weird for me to say it. Oh, I should be able to take you down in one more hit. Oh, oof, that was close. No exp. Wow. Well, now my house is just absolutely wrecked. When did they went all around like that? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love how he just conveniently had like revives and potions and all that on him. And I'm guessing ethers and elixirs and max ethers and max elixirs. Oh, Jesus. Why am I seeing it again? Dang it. Okay. Oh, goodness. There we go. Now we get to fight Sharon, our second rival. He's like a stylish nerd with the hipster glasses and tie setup. I like him. They're both cool characters. Taylor's like, kind of, I think I most cl more closely rela relate to Bianca because she's a little bit more, you know. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe her. A little more uppity, a little bit more hyper. You know, Chen's a little chill, calm, laid back. I can be like him, but I think for the most part, I'm more like Bianca. So, and your protagonist just a non-talking, chill, uh, chill dude. Once again, let's use a tail whip to weaken it and make my tangles hit harder. I don't know. I might be the same amount of turns necessary to beat it, but eh, doesn't hurt. Should be able to take it out in two more hits. Although I know, I believe Tackle has like a 95 base accuracy, so there's a very slight chance that it misses, and it does happen. So I'm a little concerned, but not too concerned. All right, so these two battles went by quick. Well, no more dust uh, went up, so I guess the room's in the same condition as before. Before I go, I just want to change the options so the text goes by faster. Oh, I can't. Can I go on my computer? Yeah, I think there's... No. I know in the previous games, like 4th, 3rd gen, you can access your computer, your PC, and you get yourself a free potion. But yes, they changed that in this game. I forget that. I don't remember anything in this game. I don't, I don't even remember the uh, order or po HMTM location. So, if I miss something important... I apologize. It's just you know, uh, we have such an awesome mom. Like if I had, my mom would probably like kill me for making a mess out of my room. Same with my dad. My parents are a little bit of neat freaks. You know if they see like sh like I don't know hair on the floor, they get mad at me for not taking good care of my room, and I'm just standing here. Yeah, we should thank Professor Juniper. I was wondering where these professors get the starter Pokemon's. Never understood that. They always seem to just like magically get it. You never even find them in the game. Other oh, Pokemon, yes, but they even find legendary Pokemon, but starter Pokemon, no. Yeah, since it's about midnight in real life, and then I'm gonna probably be using my English uh, and computer timer. I wonder what the neighbors, ugh, what the neighbors are thinking. Uh, yes, I do need a rest of Pokemon. What a sick watch. Still no options? Why can't I access my options? I don't know, let's find the professor. That was worth I thought I saw something in the corner. Is this it? Yep. Okay, so let's describe Bianca's flighty. I don't know if I ne necessarily call myself flighty. And where is her house? Let's check the mailboxes. I believe I can check their house like that. Yep. And there is. Aww. Poor her. Aww, she can still have that in chain. I feel sorry for her. She's a good girl. Wow. You're just a big old D-bag, aren't you? You don't even support your own kid. Come on. I mean, come on. She's 10. I think they're all, like, 10. You can't blame her for that. Come on. When I grow up, I'll promise myself to be a good father. Always support the kid. Let's me ever get a wife. Uh, oh well. And 
What does... Well, yeah. I guess it's being overprotective, like, but I don't think you should go as far as saying she doesn't know anything about the world. That's just a little cruel and harsh. Uh, why did my game freeze? Did my... Uh, I think my... I think my keyboard died. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I have a wireless keyboard when I got my computer. Like I said, it's a, I bought it from Best Buy, so it's not like a top-end gaming PC. And the keyboard's pretty crappy. Occasionally, the keyboard just dies out, and it's not the receiver, nor is it... I know it's not the receiver, because the mouse is working perfectly fine. Because they both use the same receiver, but it's the, the keyboard just dies on me. It's so annoying. I really wish I could get like a new computer... You know, spec'd out, gaming PC, two monitor setup, you know, Razer keyboard, maybe it'll just like a simple like cost, I think it's like 70 bucks and a simple def adder, which is like 40 bucks, I don't know, well, not necessarily gaming, mouse, like keyboard, maybe at least just a mechanical and it'll be fine, because uh, I'm not that into gaming, or like, well I am, but just not super hardcore, but I'm just rambling at this point, and let us visit, oh, let's get the mouse out of there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if I skip around. I just read rather quickly. I don't know. I might start reading it out now. Might as well. Oh, that's unusual. You already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. That's quick. <laughs> By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? I sure will. And I will name it what I named it the first time I played through this game. Bacon. It's cruel, because you have to kill it to eat bacon, but... Eh, I think it's a fun name. Bacon. Oh, dude, I'm in a mood for bacon now. Damn. I'm so hungry. Yes, I am perfectly fine with bacon. It is a great name, I think. Oh. Extensively? I don't know if you consider that extensive. Oh, I'm not reading it out. Dang it. Sorry, guys. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So what I want you three to visit... So I want you three to visit many places and meet all the Pokemon in the Un Unova re region. This is my request. Vince, Chern, Bianca. You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex. Pokedex. Will you not? N yeah. Okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. I miss the. I, ugh, I am terrible at speaking. I miss Dexter. If you don't know, that's the voice from the original Pokemon anime, the first uh, gen, Kanto. After the, I think they kept it in Johto, but. In Hoenn, they took it out, just gave it a default sort of narration voice. Next time, I need you to teach how you how to meet Pokemon. Meet me at Route One, okay? Sure. Although I already know how to. So, so, since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore, maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I like that. Sharon, of course. We can travel however we want when we complete the Pokedex. It'd be cool to live in Pokemon world, like, you can be 10, but you can go wherever you want, no school. Well, there is school, but it's only until 10, you can learn how to become a Pokemon trainer, and that's it. Hey, Vince, wait up. Ow. Oh, there you are, and what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three of, th that's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. Not as I really need it, but I don't care. Vince obtained the potent hell map. Vince put the town map in the key items case. Why am I reading that? Here you are, Sharon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. The thank you so much. Uh, thank, thank. As for your room, Vince, or what's left of it. No need to for any of you to worry. I'll take care of tidying up. What an awesome mom. Okay, Vince. Ah, Pokemon. They are so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom and more. They really are something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. 
I hope that in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you'll like in the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip! If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we hit the Route 1? The, prof the professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go. Vin's already been come too. Okay. Can I go to my options now? Give me a second to check my options. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to use your Y for... Is it Y? A, B, X, X. I can't remember because I use X so much and it's like flipped. And I want to change the options to fast. Uh, yes, yes, stereo, safe before. Yeah, can I change it? I guess you can't. And confirm. Uh, but it's already been 20 minutes, so I'll end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day, evening, afternoon, school day, whatever the case may be. And uh, hope you guys stay awesome.